Welcome to the Community Design Plan process, which we will refer to as CDP throughout this presentation, for the Carling Bayview project. This video presents a quick overview of the community design process and what it will mean for your community. Over the last few years, residents, businesses, landowners, and government agencies from the Bayview Carling community have been meeting with city staff to discuss and plan its future development. The official plan is the city's master document for planning land use, transportation, water and sewage services. These high-level policies are implemented across the city. Some residents ask the city, why have a CDP? Simply put, it takes these high-level policies to the community level and helps guide development. The CDP is the best way to get involved in the development of your community. Typical CDP includes these seven components where we are now, and the roadmap to get where we want to be. As the community grows, the CDP can grow with it. This aerial photo provides a general overview of the community along the Carling Bayview O-Train Corridor, bounded by the Ottawa River in the north, and Dow's Lake plus the Experimental Farm in the south. There are five distinctive neighbourhoods, the Breton Flats, Civic Hospital, Dalhousie, Hintonburg, and Mechanicsville. These neighbourhoods have three traditional main streets, Somerset, Preston and West Wellington. Carling Avenue is designated as an arterial main street and the Queensway runs through the middle of the community. The orange area on this map shows the land's designated mixed-use centre. Mixed-use centres are critical elements in the city's growth management strategy. The City's intention is to develop these areas into well-balanced neighbourhoods in which to live, work and play, where you can walk, bike or ride to any store or service centre. As such, they are strategic locations on the City's rapid transit network, which we will refer to as LRT throughout this presentation. The community is currently served by two major rapid transit facilities, the Bus Transitway and the O-Train. Future developments include the completion of an east-west LRT line along the bus transitway within a decade and the replacement of the O-Train by a north-south LRT line. Carling Avenue has also been identified as an intensive rail transit corridor. Three LRT stations are planned along this corridor at Carling, Gladstone and Bayview. As you can see, the majority of the Carling-Bayview mixed-use centre area is within a 5-10 to 10 minute walking distance of the LRT stations. In fact, the CDP study area is roughly located within 600 metres of the O-Train line as highlighted by the yellow dash lines. While there are a number of vibrant neighbourhoods within the CDP area, there are also many properties along the corridor that have great untapped potential. The primary focus of the CDP is what to do with these underutilised properties. Community design plan needs the full community to grow and develop successfully. That's why the project team needs wide representation from all interested communities. The project team consists of a public advisory committee representing groups within and outside of the community, a working group of staff and consultants, and a technical advisory committee representing all areas and services in that part of the community, which includes representatives from the National Capital Commission and Public Works and Government Services Canada. The Public and Technical Advisory Committees develop these goals as part of their role on the project team. The success of the CDP rests on accomplishing these goals. Identifying the unique character of the Carling Bayview community was the starting point of the CDP process. The plan has evolved through the work of the committees at regular meetings, public workshops and open houses. The CDP for the Bayview Station area is now at the point of being released into the broader community for review and comment. Please review the Bayview Station CDP video presentation and provide your feedback on the planning concept. Additional presentations will be made for the Gladstone Station and Carling Station areas in the future. Comments can be made online, by email or in writing. Just follow the directions on the website and submit your comments.